It's fall, and if you are currently feeling a lot of change or instability, then check out this short grounding sequence. Hi folks, welcome to Wild in Tacoma. My name is Casey, I use the pronouns she, her. For this practice, we are at Wright Park in Tacoma, Washington on the traditional territory of the Puyallup tribe. And I am surrounded by over 700 trees. There are about 100 species, both native and exotic. And this class is a fall yoga practice grounding. So we are gonna take cues from these amazing trees and really focus on feeling stable and grounded, which fall can be a season that, um, it's a season of transition and change. So grounding can be really impactful in our practice. We'll begin in Malasana Yogi Squat. If you have a couple blocks at home, go ahead and set them up near the back of your mat. And find your yoga squat at the top of your mat, heels in, toes out, and you can just rock side to side. This is a um, fairly intense way to begin a practice. So just giving yourself time to settle in. And maybe you settle with your tailbone pointed down chest lifted. Maybe you're in more of a mid squat and you could always grab one of your blocks and place them under your sit bones. Inhale. Exhale, lower your hands down and step your left foot to the back of your mat, setting up for more of a lizard lunge. Lower your left knee down and you can kind of sway your hips side to side. Maybe bring your right hand to your right thigh and start to open your chest adding a little twist here. And we'll be targeting our inner thighs and hip flexors a lot for practice. So maybe make adjustments in your pose so that you can feel a stretch in those places in your body. And then lower your right hand down, pick up your left knee, step your left foot back up, Malasana Yogi Squat. One full breath here. Lower your hands down and step your right foot back, moving into your lizard lunge on this side. So you can bring your left hand to your thigh, again, kind of opening your chest, pressing in, maybe add some movement or sway. Where can you stretch and open and just set your body up for success? Inhale, exhale, lower your left hand down. Step up, Malasana Yogi Squat. One more big breath here. And then lower your hands down and step back to downward facing dog. However you get there, take some time to settle in Adho Mukha Svanasana. You can lift your heels, maybe add a little bend to your knees, ground your heels into your mat, into the earth and pick your toes up and away. And then keep your feet where they are and slowly walk your hands to your feet and find a rag doll at the back of your mat. A little bend in your knees, maybe box out your arms. You can add a little sway or twist side to side. Then lower your fingertips to your mat, tuck your chin to your chest and slowly roll up to stand. Keep your chin tucked in tight, gaze to your feet. And eventually make your way to standing. You can roll out your shoulders. From here, inhale, reach your hands high, Urdhva Hastasana upward salute. Exhale, forward fold. This time, hinge from your hips, keep your spine long as you lower down. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs, maybe fingertips stay on your mat. Exhale, high plank, walk your hands forward. Inhale, exhale, lower down slowly. Inhale, lift your chest, cobra. Pause here, really press the tops of your feet into your mat. Anchor down in your hips, hug your elbows in. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back. Slowly walk your hands to your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand tall, reach your hands up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more like that. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Walk your hands forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower down. Point your feet. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your hands to your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your hands high, stretch up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Adding on, inhale, reach up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. As you walk your hands forward, notice where you feel connected to the earth. Inhale, lengthen. This time, exhale, Chaturanga. Bend your elbows, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So you have the option to do what we did the first rounds, walk your hands to your feet, or to add in that high to low push up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand tall, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk your hands forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, Chaturanga. You could do this with your knees down. Inhale, lift. Upward facing dog, strong back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your hands to your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up, stand tall. Exhale, hands to your heart. Adding on, tree pose, balance on your right leg. Place your left foot on the inseam and balance here. And if you know that you live in a kind of tight body, option to go ahead and set up your blocks for support. Kind of bring the ground a little closer to you. So take a little time in Vrikshasana tree pose. Your ankle might be wobbling a little bit, that's okay. If you fall out, come back in. Know that your foot could be on your ankle or you could kickstand. From here, we're gonna add our forward fold. We'll move into our Sun A variation and you can make any adjustments that feel right for you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. So add a little bend to your standing leg. So really activate through your hamstring as you lower your hands to blocks or all the way to the ground. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, walk your hands forward. As you make your way to plank, try to keep your tree legs. And you might be in slippery pants, that adds a little challenge. And you could always bring your foot to your calf. Inhale, side plank, roll to the outer edge of your right foot, maybe keeping your tree legs as you lift your left hand high. And draw your shoulder blades together, open your chest. Try to point your knee up to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga, lower your hand down, keep your tree legs as you bend your elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog, send your foot back, lift your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whew. Walk your hands to your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, reach your hands high. Exhale, hands to your heart, tree pose, vrikshasana. Balance on your left leg. Place your right foot anywhere on the inseam of your left leg. And breathe. Take a little time here. You could gaze to the top edge of your mat. Bringing your gaze to the ground can offer up some stability. Maybe your gaze is eye level. Your hands are in your midline. And activate your glutes. That'll help keep your right knee open in all of these variations. Inhale, reach your hands high. Exhale, forward fold, take your time. Squeeze your glutes, activate your hamstrings, lower your fingertips to your blocks or the ground. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, walk your hands forward. Inhale, side plank, roll to the outer edge of your left foot, point your right knee up toward the ceiling as you pick your fingertips up 
and balance here. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga, you've got it. Lower your right hand down, bend your elbows. Keep your knee open wide, maybe. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your hands to your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your hands high, stand tall. Exhale, hands to your heart. Just one more round of tree pose. So balancing on your right leg, place your left foot on the inseam of your leg or your inner calf or kickstand at your ankle. Hands at your heart or on your hips. And you can stay here or for a little different challenge, option to hover your foot away. So you're really using your glutes. Keep your knee open. A few more breaths. Feel rooted in your right leg. That doesn't mean you're a statue, you're stuck or still. You can move around a little bit. Inhale. Exhale, lower your left foot down. Other side, balance on your left leg. And bring your right foot to the inseam. Maybe here just to begin. You feel nice and tall. If you'd like to add that challenge, sometimes hovering away can give a new perspective. Tree pose might be something you're really familiar with. We're seeing it in lots of different ways. So if it's new or challenging, just try to appreciate that new perspective. One more big breath. Inhale. Exhale, lower your right foot down. Inhale, reach your hands high. Exhale, Malasana Yogi Squat. Turn your heels in, point your toes out. For this last Malasana Yogi Squat, option even to cover your eyes with the base of your palms, the heel of your hand, and just kind of fold in. So, or feeling overwhelmed, too much transition, too much change. Just give yourself permission to turn inward, physically, mentally. Take breaks, rest, restore. Inhale. Exhale, slowly have a seat. Cross your legs at your shins. Lift your thumbs to the center of your forehead, your third eye. We'll finish our practice with one final breath together. Inhale. Exhale. Again, my name is Casey. Thanks so much for trying on or playing around in those different variations of tree pose. If you enjoyed that and you would like to kind of play around with a similar flow, check out our grounding sequence. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, he. Okay. Well, that's. <laughs> he don't think go south in winter. <laughs> I thought we were gonna have to have a talk about migration. <laughs> what are you teaching your kids? <laughs> All right, let's try and focus. <laughs>